hello guys in this video we'll understand how sdfs read operation gets performed so if you see we have name node and we have data node it's a hadoop architecture name node will have all the metadata information and data node will have the data so let's say in this case client is initiating a read operation so what will happen sdfs client will talk to distributed file system it will create it will open a connection and distributed file system will connect with the name node so it will get uh, validated that information whether the client have the enough permission for the reading or not those kind of validation will get performed if every validation gets successful in that case what will happen it will inform to fs data input stream so before sending to fs in data input stream name node will give all kind of metadata information and it will say where the uh, nearest one uh, block you can read and uh, let's say you have one partial data in the one block in the data node one and another data in the node three so it will give that information to the client and then client will initiate a connection with the input stream so input stream will do a read operation it will connect to data node one let's say in this case we have uh, some of the blocks are available here in the data node so it will go to the data node one it will read the information and there are some of the information in data node 3 so it will go to the data node 3 it will it will perform a read operation and once it gets successful then data input stream will get closed and this way read operation will happen